just to get into the presence of God. God's here. But it's up to us to connect with Him. And uh, in a few moments, I'm going to ask Brother Staten to come back. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to invite you, uh, if you'd like to, to come around the front. And, and when I do that, here's what I'd like to ask you to do. Would you just pray that question? God, who are you sending me to? God, who are you sending me to? Where can I be effective at making disciples? Maybe as you're praying, you'll take up the challenge and you say, Lord, show me somebody unchurched in my life that I can have at my dinner table. Or maybe someone unchurched in my life that I can just go have coffee with to begin to build a bridge of friendship. I understand they may not respond in a month or a year or three years or five years. But the day that they have questions, I'll already be part of their life. Amen. As Brother Staten comes, could we, could we gather around and, and pray? God, who are you sending me to? Who are you sending me to? Everything that the missionary has said tonight is what this body of believers is about. He could have done the class next week in our yeah. session. And we got that on recording, maybe we'll play it. But, um, <clears throat> There's nothing more disappointing, I think, in a person's life who has maybe come to Jesus than someone who is a sad Christian. You know what I mean? They're just sad. And I think that the reason people can become sad Christians is because they never discover their purpose. Their mission. The individual mission. And we're always trying to figure out what we need to become instead of just be. You know, that, that mission. But God sent us tonight. Yes, you obviously can tell they're missionaries. But... God sent us a voice tonight to each of us individually. It's not about my position. It's about what He has called me to do. It's not about a title. But it's about what I need to do. Who I'm going to reach this week. Who God is going to put me next to on the train or on the bus or on my job or in school. Who is it this week? I think it really is that simple. I think it's every day starting. Who is it today, Jesus? Lead me to someone today. I want to ask you, just raise a hand. I, was, I, I know I know this people and I know what I know what excites really the the Spirit of God in the heart of people. It's when the mission of Jesus Christ is talked about. It excites something within us. I've seen, I've been in churches where I could look in the eyes of people and I knew they wanted to do something. They didn't know where to start. They didn't know what to do, but they wanted to do something. I'm going to ask you to pray with me right now for each one of us. <clears throat> I think it would be good if we started a prayer for this city of Nice, France. Would you with me join right now in prayer asking Jesus to touch those people that live in Nice, France. Even now, begin to prepare the people that are there who have hungry hearts, who have never known Jesus. And the missionary and his family, they're going to go there. And they're going to walk the streets and they're going to shop in their stores and deal in the banking institutions. 
And they're going to meet the people on an everyday basis. Today, Jesus, even tonight as we pray, prepare those hungry hearts in Nice, France for the missionary to reach them. Even now, prepare the home they'll live in. Prepare the street they'll live on. Prepare the grocery store they're going to shop at and the restaurants they're going to visit. Prepare the hearts of those people that the missionary Lord will have an open door in that city that many will be drawn to Jesus Christ through the Spirit of God that's in this family taking Jesus to that city in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then, then I want you to pray. Raise your hand and pray for each one of us. Our city, our community, our workplaces, our schools, our neighbors, our families. Now Jesus, now Jesus, we are sent by You. We do not believe we are here on accident, but there is a destiny of the hour that we live in. That there are people in our lives that somebody prayed for them. Somewhere they heard about about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Now, once you reach over, lay your hand on a neighbor's shoulder. Would you pray? With someone. Lord, use us. Lord, anoint us to fulfill the mission, the purpose, the destiny of our day, of our time. This day is not taken use by surprise, Jesus. The darkness of the hour does not surprise you. You have chosen this people for this hour, for this city. Now, Jesus, let it be. There would be an anointing that rests upon us. Let there be, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. An awareness. An awareness to the hungry and the lost around us. An awareness, oh God, a sensitivity. Lord, to Your Spirit and to the hungry hearts of people. In Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus' name.
I'm going to, we're going to worship and we're going to pray and we're going to open our hearts. Let me tell you, we don't know, we don't know who in this room will receive a call. Mission is everywhere. But we do know there are specific calls to countries, to, I, I'm convinced even to neighborhoods. And but you never know who is among us today. We never dreamed that our son, trust me, we never dreamed that our son would be a missionary the other side of the world. We still marvel at it. I do. I remember him. But, but, but God. And, and then there are specific calls among us. It's just like the Filipino community in this city. They all deserve an opportunity to hear this gospel. The, the, the Congolese group that was here a couple of weeks ago, we still have got to labor to get them connected. 